Hey guys, how's it going? Jason here with Happy Tales RVing. Uh, we are going to go over our TPMS video here. This is going to be a two-part video. We're going to do one this week, one next week. This week is going to be a relatively short one. It's going to be our uh, unboxing of the product. Now we did get this through Techno RV, who is an affiliate of ours. Uh, please hit the link down below. They have a lot of stuff. They're a great company to work with. They're easy and their customer service is top notch. Cannot recommend these guys enough. They are fantastic to work with. This is going to be a tire minder is the manufacturer. Um, we'll go into more of that. The reason I wanted to do this little introduction is because when we we're doing some editing. Some of the video just didn't look right, so we kind of moved some stuff around. Unfortunately, we had to get rid of some of the information, so I'm kind of revamping that here. Um, like I said, the old system was a lippert. Nothing wrong with it. This is more of a personal preference, but we really enjoy that. So please stay tuned, enjoy, and if you have any comments, put them down at the bottom for us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. As soon as we see that notification, we'll get right back to you, I promise. So enjoy the video. And we'll see you this week. We'll see you next week. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, so Beth has the camera now. Um, we are going to unbox this guy. Um, it's made by Tire Minder. The main reason that I went with this guy, well, two reasons. First off is it has its own monitor. Um, so I can mount this on the dash, um, and I don't have to worry about it. I can look at it at a quick glance. The other really nice thing about this guy is you can set this up for either two tires, four tires, all the way up to 20 tires. Um, so when you order these, you just specify how many transmitters you want and, um, and go that right. So the nice thing is you can have, you know, my truck's new enough, it has its own integrated TPMS, but if you wanted to, you could run both the the vehicle manufacturer TPMS as well as these and have one display and it would flip back and forth between tow vehicle or trailer. And then if you have a class A, you know, depending on how big your class A is, you could run it all on this one, one um, monitor. I did buy, get this guy from Techno RV and uh, we'll have a link down in the, in the description for those guys. They're awesome. They have a lot of great products when it comes to the um coaches so open this up the second thing of why i chose this guy out of all the others that are across the board is um granted this is just a kind of a oh screen protector okay but i can charge this the night before we leave and I don't have to have any cords draping across it into another accessory port. So as I can charge this guy up and it's standalone. That to me was a huge, huge plus. So we'll leave this guy in his little corner here. Um, comes with this nice little box. And then you kind of have your warranty card here. And then your instructions. I'll set that guy down there. Now, I ordered a four system, four transmitter system. So I've got one, two, three, four. I've got the wrench, um, security locks, comes with extra grommets for the batteries, sticker, and that is all. But the really nice thing is not only do they send out four batteries, but they also send you four additional batteries. And then these batteries are really simple. You unscrew the top, separates out, then you just slide your watch battery in here and it tells you that it's a CR1632. Okay? And here's where that little extra grommet goes. Now, the system that is on here already already has these um, anti-theft locks. Um, you can choose to put them on or take them off. I really don't see many people taking these things. I'm sure that in certain areas it probably does happen. But 
it's nice to have that on because it causes a cinch lock and you won't have the vibration of that thing vibrating off as it spins. I mean, you have centri centrifugal force on your tire, but it's just an added safety bonus. So that's the unboxing. Um, we will go ahead and go outside. I'll show you the old system that we have versus the new system, this new um, tire minder. We'll install it and we're gonna put in the booster. So I'll show you how the booster is gonna go. The booster I'm only gonna put in temporarily because I wanna, I wanna wire it and move it and we're kind of in the transition of, of changing out our, our battery pack. So for now, we're just gonna put it in there temporary, but tomorrow's a travel day for us, so it's gonna be a really good test to test these guys out and see how they do compared to the old system. All right. I almost forgot the little white box that was in the bottom of this box. Um, this will have our transponder in there, our little booster, and it should have the mount for the back of the suction cup mount. All right, sure enough, so we got a couple zip ties. We have our power cord, if we wanted to use that, with our USB adapter. Um, here's our suction mount. And this is the, along with instructions for it, but this is our booster. Um, they say to put it as close as you can to the front, possibly on the outside. Um, so that is kind of why I'm going to just put it in my wet bay for right now and then I will hard mount it to the inside of my pin box of my fifth wheel. Um, but they give you little alligator clips. I will terminate these with actually eye terminals so that I can have a secure mount that I will then mount up to my bus bar. Just another thing that doesn't fall off and, and cause issues. All right, so now we are going to go out and we will take care of the install. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick on the One Control app through the Lippert system of how you would find your TPMS readout. So depending on where you had this One Control app here, as you can see, I have it on my RV uh, folder, but that's again on my app screen. So, you know, two steps to go through to get to it. Then you would hit your one control, and as you see, it fires up. You have to go through your lights, your awnings, and everything in your slides. And then you come down here to the tire link. This typically would take anywhere from about 5 to 10 seconds to load up. Relatively quick for being an app. It's not that bad. Uh, have to take into factor how far away you are. Usually, if you're hooked up to the fifth wheel, it wasn't that big of a deal. But it's still several steps to go through versus having a standalone unit right in front of you. Um, again, there wasn't really anything wrong with the Lippert. It was just a personal preference. But as you can see, it takes a few steps to get to where your TPMS is. The reason it's not firing up here is obviously because we have removed this system. But I just wanted to show you. Okay, well, if you guys have any comments or questions, please hit them down in the comment section. Uh, please give us a like uh, if you like how the direction we're going with our videos. That helps us out a lot. It lets us know if we're on right track or not. So, And again, hit that bell, get notified. Uh, we usually send out a video every week, and sometimes we might even send out two. So if you have that bell lit up, you'll know when we let them out, and you'll be the first to know. Again, thank you very much, guys. We appreciate it, and uh, have a good day, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.